Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video I will be introducing Project 11. So, I'm also going to be introducing Unit 4 Project Sudoku. Write a program to allow the user to play Sudoku. For details on the rules of the game, visit this page. Okay. The program will prompt the user for the file name of the game he or she is currently working on and display the board on the screen. The user will then be allowed to interact with the game by selecting which square he or she wishes to change. While the program will not solve the game for the user, it will ensure that the user has not selected an invalid number. If the, user's, if the user types S in the prompt, then the prompt will show the user the possible values or possible valid numbers for a given square. When the user is finished, then the program will save the board to a given file name and exit. Okay, so three phases for this project, pretty typical. Design the Sudoku program. Okay, so you're not really going to be writing any code this week outside of pseudocode. Um, but you have all of this to kind of go off of. Okay, so uh, consider game saved as mygame.txt. Okay, we have a 9 by 9 table here, a space between each number. Uh, 0 corresponds to an unknown value. Okay, you can't have zeros in a table of Sudoku. They'll be numbers 1 through 9. Uh, the following is an example run of the program. Okay. So we run it, where's your board located? Here it is. And then with the file name specified, the program will display a menu of options. Display the board, edit a square, show the possible values for a square, save and quit. Okay, so you'll have something like this. Uh, you know, if here the user will be prompted for a command, if they type in Z <coughs> or a caret, uh, please note that you will need a new line, a caret, and a space before the prompt. The next action, okay, because we don't have that command. We only had this list here. Okay, so we're going to have to have functions based on these inputs that we'll call show instructions. If the user types question mark, then the menu of options will be displayed again. All right, uh, display the board D will, will, the board will be redrawn. Okay, um, save and quit, we'll, we'll do that. Edit one square. Okay, if the user types E, then the program will prompt him for the coordinates of the square. So you could say A1 to get that. Um, and so forth. So you can just go through doing these possible values. So for project 11, design the Sudoku program, you're going to create a structure chart describing the entire Sudoku program. Okay, so a function for uh, each one of these options. Okay, a function to display the options. Okay, if they if they do show these instructions. Um, if they, uh, you know, for each one of these, uh, for every single function that your program will have. Okay, you're going to make a structure chart for it. Write the pseudocode for the function compute values. All right. And then a, fun, uh, a pseudocode for the function interact. Okay. Um, so that's your introduction to this assignment. Uh, it seems like a lot, which is why you have an entire week worth of project time to just work on designing it. Uh, but I would recommend that you look at previous pseudocode projects and structure charts, things that you've done to kind of get help started on this. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions while you're working on it, just let me know.